Right, my Facebook friends will be perfectly aware that right now I'm suffering complete hell at the hands of Virgin Media. Now this seems like it's a bit harsh. Let me go into it. Bap, 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 like two odd weeks ago. Um, yeah, a little over two weeks, but two weeks ago my internet went down. So a fortnight ago last Saturday... <laughs> Um, before that go last that day, Slag came out, refreshed all my plugins in type thing. Been a long time. Um, and he's like, look, everything's good to go. Checked in the box down the road, everything's good to go. There is nothing wrong with your equipment or whatever. Come forward two weeks, and I've got a dead cat, apart from no health, but still no work in broadband. We've had now... Now, uh, four, I say four sets of geezers, because one of them was two, last Thursday. Um, and we had this old cat, is in some of my videos, Chester Bennington, bless his little heart. And he was near death, he has been for years. I expected him to go before, way before the real Chester Bennington, but no, he hung around, bless him. He was happy, he was eating, he was fine, but he did have these little fits. Virgin Media came out, and... Uh, Literally, he did one of these, we call them the pissy bin now. He would um, get an itchy bit on his back and just spaz out a bit and like do a little windmill on his back round in a circle and projectile piss, right? I was prepared to put up with that. Like, literally, that was fine by me. You know, like, it didn't bother him at all. And like I say, it was happy cat. Constantly wanted to be on me knee having love. Um, like eat, like I say, eating well, going outside to pee, being really good lad. He was, he was normal, but he did have other issues as well as the pissy windmill. Like I think he got cancer, or well, I thought heart failure because his stomach was really distended and um, like firm to the touch, and that's what happened with my dog when my dog passed away a few years ago. She passed away peacefully in my arms. She just reached the end of what her body could keep up with. And that was what I was hoping for Chester. And that's not what happened because this young lad walked in me out, saw him having a fit, went and reported me to the RSPCA. And later on, the RSPCA PCA turned up and took my baby boy away in a cage and he died without me. Needless to say, oh, and th so this was last Thursday. And we're now on Monday. And so I, ha I do have a new dead cat. But I still don't have working broadband and it's getting right on my tits. So, because I can't actually use Facebook, I thought I'd take my time and use it productively in getting across how I feel about Virgin Media. <coughs> Bear with me. Warming up the vocal cords. I hate you Virgin Media, I really, really do Because the service you provide is massive piles of poo You do not give me broadband and you killed my postcat too It is so hard to not wish comma on you, comma on you It is so hard to not wish comma on you That's to you Virgin Media, if you ever do want to sort my broadband out Please feel free, because like I say, it's, you know, we're coming up to two and a half weeks here, and the bullshit that I'm getting is, you've got too many devices, like, plugged into it, it's like, we've got the same amount of devices we've always had plugged into it, that only stopped working two and a half weeks ago, we're literally, everybody's turning their computers off, because I do have teenage lads, we do have a lot of Wi-Fi consumption, Plugged my computer into the Ethernet. Nothing is doing it. Still bullshit from Virgin Media. Waiting for a call back with an apology about the um, death of my cat. Now, I sound really flippant about it. I've done my crying and whatever. And I don't hold any grudges about them for the death of Chester. He was really old. He did need to be put down. But I always think, well, if I was like in that state and you walked in, you wouldn't say to me, well, she's got to be dead. You'd put me, that's what Laura is for, to put people in comfort in their last days. He was a comfortable cat. He was a happy cat. 
You know what I mean? He would have died in my arms just like Bailey did. I know he would have done when it was his time. It's taken out of my hands. I bear no ill will. He was only a young lad and forgive him for we live in a shitty world and what can you expect anybody to do? Quite sad that we live in a world where people are bred to basically go and report people and snipe behind each other's backs rather than stand up and say, um, I see your cat's bad. Would you like a bit of help? Would you like me to give you a lift to the PDSA? Something like that, anything like that would have been more polite than ringing the RSPCA and having my cat put down. R-A-P, R-A-P, rap, rap, Chester Bennington. I'll always miss you, he's lovely and I wouldn't have been able to make these video this video a few days ago but I wouldn't have wanted to because I wasn't this rage bored then and I ain't really that rage bored now when I hit rage bored Virgin Media were gonna know about it so I've got another yet another technician coming out tomorrow I wonder if it'll be one I've already seen whether it's a whole new person to like just not be able to help because there's nothing wrong with my equipment whatsoever and everybody every time I ring up they know there's nothing wrong with my equipment it's all down on and they're just like nope it's I've spoken to my manager they say I've got to book you an appointment so I'm going to waste somebody else's time I don't know what it is that's wrong but if you follow, if you're friends with me on Facebook and they said if you follow me on Facebook <laughs> ooh up your own ass much love if you're friends with me on Facebook, you know the updates will come there. And um, thank you, and I love you all, even Virgin Media, if it means that I can have broadband. That'd be smashing. Thank you. Bye.